All right, so here's what I code in a day as a data scientist. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Ranesh, I'm a data scientist and I work at a tech startup, but I'm also building this app on the side. It's basically an application tracking system where uh, people like you and me can use it to track your applications if you're applying on a regular basis, help you understand your resume better uh, with a resume score and gives you actionable insights on what you can improve to get a better success rate for that specific job or for the jobs you're applying for. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now this morning. I have a couple other things I need to do later for work. Uh, if you guys have been following the content for a while, I'm actually in the process of deploying this model. It's a, a prediction model to try and predict what driver is gonna accept uh, what offer. I talk about it more in my other videos, but to give you a brief breakdown, think of Uber or Lyft. When you're booking a ride, your offer is gonna be sent to a couple drivers nearby. Uh, and then what I'm trying to do here is to predict which driver is going to accept or deny the offer so that we can save you some time in the process of finding a driver. So that's what I'm doing for my company. It's not exactly the same thing. That's just the uh, five second overview I can give to people uh, who ask. So yeah, that's my biggest project uh, currently this quarter. I have a couple other things that I need to do for a supply project that will help uh, supply in our company next quarter. But I'm going to set the foundations right now just so I can have a better head start when I do get the time to uh, work on that so yeah uh, that's what i have to do today i'm going to take you along for the whole journey talk about the code show the code that i can mostly uh, i'll be working on the project or the app i have outside of work because that's on myself uh, i can do that on my own time and i also can show the code without having any repercussions but for stuff i'm doing on for work i'll try my best to explain what i'm doing uh, the code i'm implementing and the you know the solutions or the problems that i'm facing so yeah but yeah, if you guys stick along all the way to the end of the video, I hope you guys found some value. Uh, but without further ado, let's get to some coding. All right, so the first thing I wanna to do today is work on my app. I wanna move away from Prisma just because I don't see a need for it anymore. Uh, I am currently using Supabase as my database and I think I can do pretty much everything with React Query and just Supabase. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna transfer all the code I have or the logic I have for like reading stuff from the database, creating or inserting stuff into the database for, uh, with Prisma up to um, Supabase or React Query. And that's what I wanna to do today. And then I also have this thing, uh, this new page that I wanna make, it's called the profiles page or basically the user page where they can go check out their profile or their account and then see some statistics uh, about their applications. Uh, basically a dashboard. I have the UI kind of set up. I'm using a couple of UI component libraries like ChatCN and Acerny UI. Uh, so that made it a lot easier, but right now I need to actually impute the data in there. Uh, and then aside from that, for my own project, I don't really have anything else uh, that I wanna get done today. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about one of the problems I'm facing right now. So I'm currently using uh, a nav bar to uh, have users sign in. So right now, if a user wants to sign in, they have to go 
through the nav bar, click the button and then sign in like you would. And then once they sign in, I have the button changed to a profile or an avatar, uh, just so we know the user is signed in. However, when they log out, it doesn't change back. It doesn't, it doesn't flop back. I don't know why, unless I refresh the page, which kind of sucks. Maybe I could do like a router uh, refresh every time someone presses the sign up button or the log out button. Yeah, I guess that might, that, that probably would work. Uh, but another thing I'm facing is the, the nav bar itself is just a little bit glitchy, uh, especially the, the profile section. So let's say I log in with one of my accounts. Uh, it swaps to the profile logo and then the code should navigate me to my slash profiles page, but it doesn't for some reason. I have to type it out manually. Yeah, I don't know. That's just something I'm facing. I need to troubleshoot that and figure out why that's the case. But, but yeah, aside from that, everything is pretty smooth. Let's do a live demo here real quick. Uh, so right now I have the application page and the resume page set up such that you can create a new application and check your, check your current or past applications. Uh, right now there's only four uh, or three uh, columns. There's more. I'm taking in like a ID column for application ID. That's by default. Uh, status column, so what status you have currently for your application. Is it open? Is it your first interview, second interview, third interview, or offer stage? And the score is cal calculated by uh, ChatGPT or OpenAI and a couple other LLMs. I also have a couple other columns like uh, resume file, which is the actual URL or S3 signed URL that can link you to your resume. Uh, and also the job description, the keywords. So if you click uh, the score right here, you get a couple of uh, you know actionable insights like uh, what are the missing requirements, resume suggestions, job requirements, uh, detailed analysis and I wanted to prove this a little bit more when I have the time right now I think this is sufficient. Obviously, this is not a real job description I just wanted to test it out to see if the whole uh, functionality of the back end worked and it did so uh, Yeah, I'm gonna showcase some real uh, job descriptions and resume cases later on when I actually make a demo for this uh, Specific project but for right now what I want to do is improve this whole page right here I think uh, having the resume name or uh, the date applied and stuff like that should be features that we can see for the application stable. Uh, but right now, all it does is just take in the application ID. So yeah, let me let me just show you how, how it works. So let's go to the new applications page. Let's say uh, the resume text, you would paste it here. And then the job description text is what you would insert here. Then you can submit a new job application. And then boom, it redirects you to the applications page with a refresh and then you get your new application. Uh, obviously, the score for this one is not going to be the most accurate since there's not much uh, words that it can refer to. It's just using the text versus WSD. Uh, if you actually impute a resume and a job description, it's going to be much more accurate and representative of where you stand. And then the resumes section or the resumes page is very similar. Uh, this is probably going to be the better layout for right now just because I've incorporated uh, you know, file uploads. So this is where the file upload logic goes through. Uh, you can paste in the job description text, uh, upload your file. So let's just upload a random resume right now and then paste in some random text. And then same thing goes to the API, redirects you to, goes to the API, redirects you to the resume page. And then if you refresh, you get to see your resumes and stuff. So yeah, that's where I am right now. A couple of things I wanna do is uh, modify the resume and applications page to make it more visually pleasing. You know, there's columns on the back end that are not being shown like data apply and stuff like that. I wanna change the status column to be uh, more user friendly. Like, I don't know why uh, status is all caps right now. Uh, that's, I guess, the enum type uh, from the back end, but it should be converting to open all lowercase. So yeah, that's a couple things that I wanna do today. Uh, I also wanna be able to delete uh, the specific application from this applications page. And then same thing for resumes. Uh, I also have the home page uh, kind of set up. I can't show that right now just because there's some PII there that I wanna uh, keep close until we actually launch this thing. Uh, once we are more secure or more uh, ready to launch, I guess I'll give a full demo of the whole product and the whole website and the app and stuff like that. But until then, I guess this is all you have for right now. So hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully you like it. Let me show you the profiles page real quick just because I think that's gonna be where I do most of the work today. Uh, essentially the profile page is gonna be a couple sections, you know, your general dashboard, applications, resume, uh, advanced is where you can cancel your subscription or change your plan and stuff like that. And then log out, which takes you to the bottom of the page where there's a logout button. Uh, this is just because it's server side. I can't figure out a way to do client side logout just yet. If you guys have any idea how to do that, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm using Next.js by the way. Uh, so if you have 
experience with Next.js, um, I would love to hear from you. Join the Discord uh, channel down below. It's the first link in the description or second link in the description. We have a lot of cool people there. So I hope you enjoy talking to a lot of like-minded individuals and improving your you know, resume, your projects and stuff like that there. So yeah, I highly recommend you check the Discord out. Uh, we talk a lot there. We have a lot of good ideas there. So yeah, uh, first or second link in the description, you will definitely want to check it out. And then, yeah, there's uh, also dark and light mode incorporated. This is just Shatian and built dark and light mode. Also, is it just me or can you guys notice the difference between uh, this and this? I guess this is because this is from a Serenity UI and this is from uh, Shatian. Uh, there might be a difference in color for the components. So I might have to change that in the Shatian uh, or a Serenity component block that I copied over. So uh, I guess it's good to have videos like this where I can catch certain mistakes and fix them on the go. But yeah, aside from that, that's about it. I'm gonna be coding for most of this morning before my first meeting, so I'm gonna catch you guys back when I have the chance. See ya.
yeah, uh, I guess that was pretty much most of my day. I still have a couple of things I want to do, but this video is getting long, so I want to end it here. I hope you guys got some value or had a better understanding of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I code pretty much 60% or at least 70% of my day, or I try to at least. Sometimes I have a lot of meetings, sometimes I have other things to do. So yeah, I just want to get into the habit of coding more frequently. Coding is a skill. Actually, I think coding is a skill where you have to implement a lot of Googling and thinking, uh, less coding, because a lot of my job is just Googling or troubleshooting or debugging and then finding out what to actually search. Let's say I wanna implement an entry point or uh, let's say I have an endpoint and I need to figure out how to change the name for that endpoint or I need to figure out how to delete the endpoint and I need to make sure the configuration or other things are deleted too. So yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say here, coding in general is a skill, but understanding what you need to implement and understanding what you need to fix or debug is the most important part of coding because you can always Google a solution and implement it into your specific code base or into your specific problem. So. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm trying to convey here. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.